Hey everybody, uh, got a warm up for you. You know the drill, copy this down, go try to do all those problems, come back if you need help, and definitely come back to check your answers, right? You want to uh, check your answers. If not, it's like you're shooting baskets, you're not even looking to see one in, right? Are you really practicing? No, it's like you're playing music, and you're not even listening, right? Uh, you, you have to, you have to, Look at what you're doing and try to determine, am I doing this right? And that's how you learn. So go copy it down. Come back. We will see you in a bit. Remember, these are called square roots. What you do is you say what number times itself equals that. The square root of 16 is what number times itself equals 16. It's not 8. 8 times 8 is not 16. Okay? So don't just cut it in half. Think to yourself, what number times itself what number squared equals 16? Okay. All right. See you in a bit. And here we go. First off, the diamonds. Remember, the top is the product. The bottom is the sum. What two numbers multiply together equals 72. But when you add, you get 17. Hope we figured out that 9 times 8 is 72. 9 plus 8 is 17. <clears throat> I have 17 again. 17 is the same all the way around the bottom. But now I have 66. Whenever I have repeating digits, I know 11 goes into it, at least for, for under, under 100, right? 99, 88, 77. And 6 times 11 is 66, and 6 plus 11 is 17. How about 52 and 17? 52 pickup. You ever play 52 pickup? Yeah, if you had an older brother, he did. <laughs> I was the older brother. I would never do that to my younger brother. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Dr. West is what we call him now. All right, so what do we got here? We got four suits, ace through king, right, is 13. Four times 13 is 52, and four plus 13 is 17. How about 42 and 17? Hmm. Well, four times 13, how about three times 14? Yeah, because if I double that, take half of this, I get six times seven. I know six times seven is 42. Cool, huh? All right, 6 to the second power, 6 squared is not 12. It's 6 times 6 is 36. 8 squared is 8 times 8 fell on the floor. I picked it up. It was. And 9 squared is not 18. It is 81. And 4 squared is not 8. It's 4 times 4 is 16. And 7 squared is 49. What is the square root of 16? Well, num what number squared times itself equals 16? 4. The square root of 16 is 4. What number squared equals 49? 7. The square root of 49 is 7. What number squared or times itself equals 36? The square root of 36 is 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. So, so when people first start doing this, they, they either want to take half or they want to say the answer to this is 7 times 7. No, it's just 7. The square root of 49 is 7. And again, why does that work? If I had a square and I told you the area of this square is 49, how big is each side? Well, it must be 7. Okay? All right. The square root of 64 is 8. And what's the square root of 81? Bad. I gave you the answer, didn't I? It is 9. Okay. <clears throat> what am I doing here? There's nothing written between that 4 tenths and 6 hundredths. Right? Remember, if there's nothing written in between a number in parentheses. You're supposed to multiply. So what am I doing here? 4 times 6. Is what I do. That makes it easy. But then again, to pretend this was a four, I had to move the decimal over one spot. To pretend this was a six, I had to move this decimal over two spots. That's three spots I had to move decimals over to the right in my problem. So I'm going to go back three spots and answer. One, two, three. What do you do here? Fill the egg carton. 0 0.024. Okay. What does that mean in math? Multiply. How do you write that as a fraction? Go with two spots to the left, 0.24. So I'm going to multiply 0 0.24 times 18.4, which is just like 184 times 24 first, right? 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1, and 4 times 8 is 32 plus 133. And 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Put a placeholder. Now I go 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. So i got a little messy here. I'm going to add this. I'm going to put the answer down here. 6 and 0, 8 and 3. 
seven, one, and six is 14. Okay, so 4,416, but going back to my problem, I pretended this was a 24 by moving the decimal over two spots. I pretended this was 184 by moving it over one. That's a total of three, so I can go back three spots. Okay. Four point four one six. Put a box around it. Okay. Three fifths of one and two hundredths. I'm going to write three fifths as a decimal. Six tenths of means times. Now, how did I do that? Well, <clears throat> three fifths as a fraction is the same as six tenths, but you can change three fifths to a decimal by dividing the bottom into the top, the five into three. And you say, but it won't fit. No, add a decimal, bring it up at a zero. Five goes into 30. Okay, so I'm gonna go six tenths times one and two hundredths. Six times 102, that's six hundredths and six twos, that is 612. But I gotta move it over one, two, three spots. Okay. So 0 0.612, 612 thousandths. Get it right? All right. The perimeter is 6 plus 8, type it plus 2.5 is 8.5. When I double that, 8.5 doubled is 17, and that's meters. The perimeter, 9 plus 7 and 2 tenths is 16 and 2 tenths. And I double that. I can multiply by 2 or add. All right, and move it over one spot, 32.4, that's inches, 13 and 5 and 12, I'm going to do 13 and 12 first because that makes 25 and 5 is 30 centimeters, 6 plus 8 plus 10, and I don't care about that 5 for the perimeter, if I'm building a fence around this, I don't care about that, just like I didn't care about this for the perimeter. 7.29, 7.29. So 6, 8, and 10, 14, and 10. The perimeter equals 24 what? Feet. And 15 and 11 and 20 and 10, that's around the outside. I don't care about that 8.2 for the perimeter. Okay. So 11 and 15 is 26, plus 10 is 36, plus 20. 56. And since I had that many <clears throat> numbers, I'm going to go backwards and make sure I get the same answer. 20 and 10 is 30, plus 15 is 45, 46, 56. Good. All right. The area of a rectangle is just multiply the two sides. Right. Six times 25 is 150, but that's 2.5. So 15, and this is square meters. Okay. Now, parallelogram is how wide is it times how tall? It's called the base and the height. Now, why does that work? Because remember, if I chopped off this rec this, this triangle, it would slide right in here because this is parallel to that. Perfect angle. And then now I have a rectangle, 6 times 9. 54 square inches. Now, isn't a rectangle a parallelogram? Yes. So why don't you do that with a rectangle? Well, you do. The fact is, for a rectangle, the height is one of the sides because all the angles are right angles. Does that make sense? All right. Now we have a triangle. Where do people mess up on triangles? What's the most popular mistake people make? Well, there's two things. They multiply the base times the height. Sometimes they multiply that third one. But really, for a triangle, what we're doing is we're getting half of a parallelogram. It's a right triangle, you're getting half a rectangle. All right, so that 12 times 5 is 60. That would be the area of this entire rectangle. I need half of that. So I could do 60 and divide it by 2. But <clears throat> the shortcut, if one of these numbers, the base or the height, is even, take half of that and multiply it by the other. So half of 12 is 6. 6 times 5? 30. Isn't that cool? The uh, perimeter is 30 centimeters. The area is 30 square centimeters. Right. And again, 60 divided by 2 is going to be 30 as well. 
All right. All right. Again, the area, I need to know the base and height, 5 times the 10, but that's going to be double what I need, right? Because that would be, if I clone this triangle and put it upside down over here, right? This would be 6, and this would be 10, right? I have a parallelogram. How do you get a parallelogram? Well, the base times the height. But that's two of these triangles, so make sure you cut it in half. So I go 5 times 10, 50, and take half of that. I can also take half of the even number, 5 times 5, 25. And this is square feet. Make sure you always have square units when you do the area. Okay? And here we go. <clears throat> For a trapezoid, I need to know the top and the bottom. And if I did the bottom times the height, that would include this triangle over here and this triangle over here. And that's too big. If I did the top times the height, that would not include this triangle or this triangle. That's too small. What does Goldilocks say? She wants something that's just right. And what do we say? We want the average of the top and the bottom. We want something right in the middle. And right in the middle between 20 and 15 is 20 plus 15 divided by 2. Okay? So 2 goes into 35. 17.5 times. And I tried to make this easier for you. I was supposed to have a 25 here, so the average was going to be 20. 17.5, and I have to multiply that by the, the height, 8.2. So you, again, you're going to pretend like there's no decimal, 82 times 175. And move it over two spots. So area is 143.5 square meters. Okay, how'd you do? Hopefully well. All right, have a good one, everybody.